Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through crash recovery. So basically, we will be thinking that there will be no issue once the connection is established, right? Okay, we'll be thinking in that way. But there could be a crash on the server side as well as the on the client side. There could be an issue. I'm not saying every time there will be, but there is a chance, right? Yes. So basically, it will happen commonly, guys. Commonly, you'll be saying that your server is down, right? So that is nothing but your server crash simple in simple words you can say okay okay so commonly host and routers are subjected to crash okay so at a router crash so basically host and router so which is a dangerous guys so if you ask me the host crash is really dangerous when compared to router because the host will be doing all his processes right whereas a router if it is crashed once it is back it will be sending the data again because it is just an intermediate node whereas a host is the one who is sending the data to all means that's a huge issue right yes so at a router crash is easy to handle since the transport entities are alive at the host so basically what to send to whom to send and everything are represented or stored indirectly or internally in the transport layer in the host side right so those things are nothing but transport entities they are called as yes. okay so th those are available directly at the host side so there will be no issue so routers are just the intermediate nodes which forward the packets yes that's what they do guys that's it Okay, so they do, not, they do not have any transport entity. Whereas, when the host crashes, okay, then it raises many problems, guys. Okay, so once a client that is nothing but host is sending a file to server, that is nothing but host, okay, receiver host. So here, client is sending a file to server. So transport layer at the server simply passes a TPDU, that is nothing but transport layer data unit guys it is a small data unit you can call it as a packet also okay for our for our understanding i am calling it as packet but you should call it as tpdu only data unit to transport layer while the transmission was going on assume that the server has been crashed so once the server restarts from crash server sends a broadcast tpu to all the connections guys so if it is transmitting or communicating with multiple requests so it will be sending a request to all of them stating that i am crashed i am crashed can i know the status where you received till where you received so it is sending packets to all right so it should know till this guy how much he received 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 to continue the process so assume that this guy received all five six packets this guy only five this guy only four and this guy only one so in this way they'll be giving the response so once it receives the response it will be analyzing them and it will be retransmitting those packets according to the understanding guys i'll be using the packet word only because i am habituated for that but please use a tpdu while you are writing or while you are explaining to someone okay okay so host announces that it has just crashed and requesting that the client to inform it about the status so we'll be taking two uh, two examples here guys okay just give me a second okay sorry for that okay so assume that the server s is uh, is having connection with s0 and s1 guys just let us take a small example to have a clear idea Okay, so it is having a connection with S0 and S1. So assume that the data transfer of S1 is completed completely. Whereas S1 is a stopped in between. So here S0 will be, so it, it will be say sending a request, right? So it will be saying that my server crashed, what is the status? Please tell me, please tell me. It will be asking in that way. So then S0 will be replying no outstanding. So no outstanding is nothing, but there are nothing to receive anymore. All the transfer is done successfully. It will be saying that. Similarly, S1, I told you, right, it is not completed. So one TPDU outstanding. So basically it need to receive one packet or one TPDU is less now. So now this should be sent again. Okay. So from this explanation, you can say that S0 has no problem and it is all done. Whereas S1 in outstanding, it is in outstanding. That is nothing but it is having problem with it now. So because it need to receive it, right? Yes. Okay. So we got two situations here. So the first situation is if a server has a first sent acknowledgement and before it can send a TPDU to the next layer, server crashes. So assume that everything will be layered approach, right? So in every application which we are using in networking, the whole, everything, the transfer of data will be depending on OSI model only guys. OSI model is a layered approach. So that is the reason why everything is a layered approach. Okay. So assume in this way. So if a server has a, has a first send the acknowledgement and before it sent the DPDO. So assume that it needs to send the acknowledgement and to and the data to the lower or the upper layer. So it sent the acknowledgement that okay, I received the data and I sent it, but it didn't send in between only it crashed. So this is the first step and this is the second step. So this could be a chance, right? So if the server first sends acknowledgement 
and before it can send a TPDO to the next layer server crashed. So in this case, the client will get acknowledgement. So it is not retransmitting and the TPDO is lost in the server. So now the client received this info like acknowledgement. Okay, I re okay, he received it. Okay, I'm safe. He's do he's taking he's taking he's doing his work. But this packet did not reach to the destination where it should reach. So this is an issue. Okay, so the one more possibility could be if a server first sent the packet and before it is sending the acknowledgement only it is crashed. So I told you right. So it should ac send acknowledgement and it should send data to the upper or lower layer, right? So it sent the data, but it didn't send the acknowledgement. So if a server first sends the packet to the next layer, then it crashes before it can send acknowledgement. In this case, through server has already received the TPDU. Client thinks the TPDU is lost. So basically he, do, he didn't receive acknowledgement. So he'll be thinking it is lost. And in this situation, it will be retransmitting it. So basically this case is a bit safe guys because the client will be while will be duplicate it is a he will be identifying it as a duplicate and he'll be deleting it so this is the logic whereas in our previous situation the whole data is lost guys completely lost okay okay so there is some small strategy to receive the protocol guys okay so you can just go through it i did not get that much clear idea so that's the reason why i am skipping the explanation of this guys so basically the whole thing will be depending in this way guys so if it is retransmitting Okay, so here we are having the names also guys, just to give me a second. Okay, so this is just the first acknowledgement then write guys. So these three belongs to that and this is nothing but first write then acknowledgement. So based on the situation, whether it is retransmitting or the thing, we just drawn it in the form of table guys. So basically if it sends a first acknowledgement, there is a high chance of loss, right? Yes. So that's the reason why we are having multiple losses. Whereas if it first writes the data and then it sends the acknowledgement, there is a high chance of duplicate. So here we are having many duplicates. So that is the logic guys. Just to go through it once, so you will be having a clear idea. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about the crashing, right? So till now we discussed about multiplexing, crashing and buffering. And before that we discussed about how the connections are established. And before that we discussed about the transport layer, right? Okay. So now I think this is the right time for us to continue with TCP and UDP guys. Okay. So now we are done with five major topics. So from in the next lecture, I'll be introducing about TCP guys. After that, we'll be discussing about TCP header and all those things and we'll be continuing. Okay. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.